Hey y'all, come and put on makeup with me. Starting with skincare. Fightful Mac. Softens the skin. Helps with textured skin. Makes the skin look smooth under foundation and hydrates. Slim Eyebrow Pencil by My Line. Blue Artistry Cosmetics. I'm going to always start with a brush up. going to define the brow doing the bottom arch first we're gonna fill in the holes mm -hmm. filling in the holes go brush up Take your mascara wand, brush up, go back, fill in the holes, and brush up. Using my uh, stick foundation, Blue Artistry Cosmetics, I'm going to not only define the brow, the, in, the bottom of the brow, but I'm also going to highlight the brow bone. This is the eye we are going to create. I might use a few different colors, but for the most part, I'm gonna use this palette here. I'm gonna kinda of stay within here and here. And of course, some blending colors, but this is going to be the eye. Just a little touch of glitter. Okay, here we go. Oh, using Fluid Line, this is called Shy. Um, I don't even know if Mac still makes this. This uh, product is some years old, but because I kept it closed, um, the lid closed, it didn't dry out. So I'm still using it. I don't recommend using cream products um, that are old or dated because you kind of want to protect your eye. Your eye could definitely um, get infected. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of chocolate brown. I'm sorry, charcoal brown by MAC. I don't even know if they still make these colors, but I don't like to wet, uh, let products go to waste. I'm gonna put it right here in my crease. I don't necessarily have um, a crease. I have hooded eyes, so I kinda gotta create a crease so I go a little higher than the crease take this brush I'm gonna go into my deeper blue first I'm gonna put it right here on the lid brushing inward come close so you can see it yep Staying on the lid, I'm going to flip the brush around and use this side. And I'm going to go with my lighter blue on the inside. I'm patting and I'm smoothing it across the lid so that it can blend in with the deeper blue. So I'm gonna literally use this side to pull this way 
in this side to pull this way. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to come in between the blue and the charcoal brown, which almost, the charcoal brown almost looks gray. And I'm gonna use a pencil brush so I can get a precise crease. Keeping the color mostly on the outskirts. And I'm also trying to blend it into that dark blue. Just like that. While I don't have a lot of color on my brush, I dry brushed it, which means I took a paper towel and just kind of dusted it off. I'm going to take a little bit of a flesh color and I call it a flesh color because it's a Studio Fix powder. And I'm gonna pull it a little bit on. I'm using NC42 to blend a tiny bit in with that fawn. I'm gonna go in between fawn and the char charcoal. Fawn is the um, highlight brow color, my foundation. And then I'm gonna use this charcoal brown. I'm gonna come in between those two colors with this flesh color to blend. Yep. Then I'm gonna mix a little bit of a orange and a maroon. I'm gonna use this palette right here and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the orange and the maroon. And I'm gonna go right where I use my flesh color. So I'm gonna go right above that gray, right in here. See, bring it on down. That's to warm up the crease just a little bit and give it that beautiful blend. You can always go back and you and get some more of your charcoal brown and come in that crease just a little bit. Y'all see that? So it's literally, go, literally going from the blue to the brown to that orange uh, maroon mix to my upper brow and you got that beautiful bloom excuse me i'm going to take a little bit of glitter because i'm pretty sure y'all can see this pop over here excuse me i'm gonna take a little and this is the reason why everybody is different some people do foundation first as you see i'm getting glitter all over my face so that's why i don't do foundation first because i would hate to perfect my foundation didn't have to go back and wipe it off glitter is like sand sometimes it's very hard to get off so i'm gonna take my brush y'all see a little bit of this glitter Starting on the inward side, the glitter kind of matches that um, inside color. If I was you, I'd just go ahead and just let that glitter fall. Just don't let it fall in your eye. It is um, safe for the eye area, but you still don't want glitter to fall into your eye. That could hurt. <laughs> so see, as you see, I'm keeping it on the outside. I can use my finger too. My finger would be able to provide a little bit more um, pressure to keep it on, as you see. So that's making it pop even more. I'm staying on the inner parts of the eye and then I'm flowing to the outer, but I'm not going over that dark blue that I created. It's gonna take a little wipe and wipe off some of the glitter. In my line, I do have eye pencils. This is a really beautiful dark blue, as you can see. I'm gonna use it as my eyeliner. This is called Moody Melody. It's a very pretty color. Hope you guys can see it. I usually hold my eye to kind of stretch it out. I'm also gonna come up a little bit into the eyeshadow as well to give that nice deep blue contour. Yep, I can't find my sharpener so I have to be very careful. I'm 
The reason why this is a little bit darker than this, than this one is because I went back with a little bit of black using an angle brush so that the blue can pop out a tiny bit more. So I'm using an angle, angle brush and I'm just gonna tap. Quick little taps right underneath that blue. I'm gonna look up a little bit so y'all can see. Just like that. Cool. I have my lash. These are not my favorite lashes, but I wasn't too um, worried about lashes. Tonight, I was just gonna put some on just to put some on. So I'm gonna see if I can do it through this camera here. When your chin is lifted, you can see the line of your eye better. When you're looking like this and you try to put it on your eyes closed, when your chin is up, you can see a lot better. These aren't that wispy, so you can almost barely see them. I'll turn to the side so you can see them. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Boo Archie Cosmetics Primer. Um, Being educated with MAC, I, um, MAC Cosmetics, I say when I create a line, it has to be just as good or better. MAC has literally everything you need. And so um, I have a favorite um, primer by them called, uh, I mean, yeah, favorite primer by them called um, Skin Base Primer. And so my primer is very similar. I'm using my hands, but y'all, I do usually use a brush, but... I'm using a hand, using my hand. I can also feel um, using your hand sometimes compared to a brush, um, you can feel your skin. My skin feels so good right now, but um, you can feel the, um, what's the word? I'm gonna say the status of your skin when you use your hand. My, my skin feels like a baby's behind. So that means my foundation is going to look like a baby's spine. It's going to look very smooth. Okay, let's get to this skin. I had a little bit more lighting so you guys can really see the skin. And it looks like it made my eyeshadow look even better. So lighting is key. What I like to always start with is my color corrector. And I do have one um, in my line. I have a cream color corrector. It's one of my faves. This helps to make this helps the skin look a lot more even. I don't have to pile it on as much, even though I'm probably gonna pile it on today tonight. But I didn't want to pile it on. Um, if you don't want to pile it on a lot and you need your skin to, you know, look uh, even, then I will use color corrector. So I'm gonna just put it in the areas that are a little dark. See my nose, a little ring around my nose, a little bit on the forehead here, and definitely around my mouth. As you see, it is dark around my mouth which is a lot of people are dark in these areas on the cheek. Any places that are dark. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my brush to pat it in. When I do my classes and seminars, I'll go into more detail, but right now I'm gonna stay on the surface. Everybody's different. Um, I'm, go, I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer first. Everybody's different. Do it the way you feel. I'm using Juvia, Juvia's um, concealer. This actually don't even seem light enough. I might've grabbed the wrong color. <laughs> Pat it out. You can really see the smoothness, no texture. All right, all I have on is my highlighter concealer and that's it, but it's still, everything still looks nice and smooth because of the color corrector. I can literally do powder from here and be good, but I'm still gonna add on 
the foundation. So I'm going to um, use my stick and I am <clears throat> using the color Spice. Um, I didn't say this. This is a stick foundation, so I could easily just wipe it all over my face. Um, but the stick foundation that I have, that's my own personal one and it's running out. So I had to scoop some out and <laughs> put it on the back of my hand. So that's the only reason why I didn't just put it all over. So as you see, no filter and my skin looks nice and smooth. Why, Nikki? Is it because of the foundation? Now, the foundation is nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. But what it really was was the skincare. My foundation is a cream matte finish. So, being that it's cream, you have good skin, skincare, or skin, it's going to replicate what it covers. Make sense? All right, and I'm gonna go a little bit down the nose using a smaller brush. Let's keep going. Banana powder, everybody knows about banana powder. I put it everywhere I want my face to be highlighted. Mm -hmm. Nice. Down the nose. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm also going to take um, olive sand, which is banana, not banana powder, but they make banana powder. This is Ben Nye. And I'm gonna use olive sand. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go right up underneath the cheek area. Right here. It's a type of setting powder. Um, it's not as light as a banana powder, but it still gives that nice set and it intensifies the foundation in the same way the banana powder intensifies the concealer that you use. But I just didn't want to be carved. People that use banana powder down here, they have that carve. I didn't want that. And next, using dark, um, what do you call it? Uh, dark coffee, dark coffee, this color. I'm gonna come right down the cheek. Mm -hmm. Okay, down the nose. Nice. I'm gonna brush down. Brush up. I'm just trying to see if y'all see the skin though. <laughs> just on the outskirts. Putting it on, pushing it towards the um, hairline. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna go back up to the brows. I'm gonna use a little bit of Golden Beige by MAC, or I could just use, I'm not MAC, Lord, by my line, <laughs> Blue Artistry Cosmetics Foundation Stick. I'm gonna use Golden Beige. I can use Spice, because that is my foundation color, but I just wanna go just a tiny bit more yellow and a tiny bit more lighter. Um, 
and mostly for the effect for you guys to be able to see. So I'm going to go right in here and really carve the top out. And the same on the other side, okay? Okay, taking a mascara wand, I'm gonna use a brow gel. And I'm going to brush the brow. Let me come in a little bit so you guys can see. Brushing the brow. The brow gel will uh, keep your brows in place a lot longer. Cool. That'll work. At this point, I'm going to start setting my makeup with powders. Um, I'm going to use Studio Fix Powders by MAC to uh, enhance. It is a foundation, so I'm adding even more coverage. But with this good skincare, you know what I'm saying? I don't need the coverage, but... This is NC43. They think it's the product, but it's the skin care down the nose. Like that right there. All right, for my foundation, I'm going to use NC47 by MAC. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily going on top of my highlighter, my, my highlighter, my highlight, the NC43, but I am going to touch it. See, I'm going kind of underneath it, but I am going to kind of touch over it a little bit because I don't want harsh lines. I want everything to blend. Now, the dark coffee foundation stick that I used is actually um, darker than NC47 and it's more redder. So this NC47 is blending that into the NC43 powder. All supposed to blend, blend, blend. Makeup is a science. It's an art, but it's also a science to it. So when you really want to go in and perfect it, science happens. And anointing if you have that too. Morph. Look at and then this is uh, Jacqueline Cosmetics. Um, I'm gonna actually use both of these because I'm gonna warm up the skin, but then I'm gonna deepen it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put this one on first because I, I like to put the lighter colors on first before I go dark. So let's go. Putting it on just the tip of the brush. Doop. Little tap off smile, just like that. See, it adds that nice warmth. Mm -hmm. Down the nose. Some people like to stop right here. You can and add your blush, but if we're going dramatic, then we're going to add that good contour too. You know what I'm saying? This is called Coco Whoa. Okay. Oh, I didn't tell you what the Jacqueline was. It's called Top Down. Coco Whoa. Here we go. Oh, y'all see how deep and dark. Come on, Jesus. Color. I like it. We're going to go just a little. See, we can't get the saints too much. You know what I'm saying? 
staying mostly in the back, not necessarily coming out here, staying in the back and by the hairline. I'm doing this video, y'all. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm about to wash this off as soon as I'm done. Come in so you can see. Nice fluffy brush. I like fluffy brushes. I'm not going to touch the nose too much because I don't want it like heavy contour. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the smoothness? No filter. Okay, now let's add blush. I'm going to use like a kind of soft blush called Gingerly by MAC. I could use one for my line, but you know what? I didn't feel like finding it. I'll do it for the next video. <laughs> okay, so we're going to smile. Come right where that highlight is and the contour is. We're going to, and the warmth. <laughs> Don't forget about the warmth because I added the warmth. You could stop right here, but I'm just going to, you know, be dramatic and add a little bit more. So here we go. Coming right there in between. And of course, you can, you know what I'm saying, throw some up there and, you know, down there if you want to. You want to add a little bit of mascara to these lashes just to make them a little bit more dramatic. And down here. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna use Max Golden Bronze. Now you know this old, cause they haven't made containers like this in probably a decade. <laughs> but one thing that's great about powder powders are they do not get old. So I'm gonna use what's already here in the uh, cap. I'm gonna use this brush, just kind of on the edge there. A little tap off, smile. Try to be a little dramatic. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Come a little closer so y'all can see. Beautiful. Okay. I'm also going to do some over the lip. Okay. I'm back. Oh, I just wish y'all could feel my skin. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, I would like to let y'all know it is getting very late where I am and I get very silly when I'm sleepy. So I'm going to get up off of here before I embarrass myself. But I'm just going to add just a little bit more powder, powder so I can make sure my glow um, is a little bit more blended. It's not choppy. <clears throat> my highlighter that I put the gold stuff. And then I'm literally going to add a little bit of, as you see, this powder is like white. But I only have a little bit on my brush. This is actually like a, um, I think it's like an eyeshadow, but it's literally the color white. I just can't show you because if I move that palette, all my light going to fall. <laughs> it's a little rigged over here. Okay, so anyway, just so I can get just an extra pop of color, I mean of highlight, I'm tapping that white on top of my highlight. Can y'all see that? And it doesn't look white, it just enhances my highlight compared to this side. Can y'all see? Adding a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And 
I like a good highlight. I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then after that, let's go ahead and do these lips. Still trying to fluff my hair, as y'all can see. You can't fluff dreads, Nikki. Okay, I decided to go with a different lip. Let's try it. I'm going to use Chestnut by MAC. This will be a better look here. Okay. I'm going to do, ob ob I can't even say the word, obviously bare. My life. Got to make sure it's still good, y'all, because this is an old one, too. I'm pressing it all over that chestnut. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think I like this better. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of flair for fantasy just to warm it up just a little bit. Still trying to keep it uh, that more natural brown color but I'm added I added a little bit of like a peach yep I think I'm gonna finish it like that I like that lip better I'm still trying to fluff y'all I still feel like I have my weave in no Nikki you dreaded your hair up <laughs> okay but anywho this is the look Ooh, maybe I should puff it up one day like that. I'm going to have fun with this hair, I promise you. Dreadlocks for life. 